Hey friends, wanted to, I think I've missed a couple days, but that's okay. Um, check out the energy for today, May 19th. So I've pulled out my numerology manifestation cards and my, which ones are these? Work your light. Is kind of calmed down a bit, but it's still polarity is the word. Big time. Um, yeah, <laughs> polarity is the word. No, I don't feel that card. Okay. What do we need to know in this? We're gonna break the chain. Oops. Break the chain, ancestral patterns, healing, and rewriting the future. What many people don't know is, and if you if you really think about it, right? Think about <laughs> these cards like to jump out in like groups. So we're just going to go with this numerology. We've got, yeah. oh my God, they're so good. <sighs> okay. So from the immunology manifestation, we've got be real. <laughs> Leave the past behind and embrace the flow of life. They all go together beautifully. So jumping back to break the chain, ancestral patterns, healing, rewriting the future. So I started doing this back in, I feel like 2019. Yeah, 2019, I started generational healing, um, energy healing for myself. And what that actually does is it goes backwards and forwards in your family line. Because um, think about the way we're brought up is the way our parents have been brought up. And they may shift things, you know, slightly, because the more we know, the more we learn and the more we can do better, right? But if we think about, you know, generational, it's very normal for people to say, well, that's what, you know, that's what we did, or that's what they did, or that's what, you know, that's what happened. But that's not necessarily what needs to happen. And this now truly is a time for everyone to go deep, which I've pulled that card quite a few times, go deep, be real with yourself first, always. So if something or someone is not aligning with you, it's totally fine. Totally fine. Um, because it's really and truly up to us to figure out what our line, like what, what my alignment is, is not what yours is or whoever else. Everyone has a different path. And even my spouse and my children, we all live in the same house, but we're not on the same path exactly in life, right? Photography, oils, energy, all of that totally lights me up. And although my family appreciates it, that's not necessarily what lights them up. So break the chain. Oh, you're being called to heal your family line or free yourself from living the life of your ancestors. This could mean letting go of an old pattern of your maternal or paternal line, healing trauma from the past that is not even yours or observing old ways of being that no longer serve you. We carry emotional trauma in our luminous field for up to seven generations back. So think of so you probably don't even know, like your kids are one generation. You are two, your parents are three, your grandparents are four, your great grandparents are five, your great, great, great grandparents are six, 
your great, 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 great would be seven. So that was four greats. So you, you probably don't even know them. I know back to my great and then my great, great, but obviously I never met him. So yeah, seven generations back. This is why family patterns can be the hardest to break. Think of, there's so many people right now with emotional, like de depression, anxiety, um, addiction issues. And addiction isn't just booze and drugs. It can be food. I had a really, really tough time with food for a really long time. Um, I know people that have issues with food. It's their comfort. And there's just a lot of internal healing that needs to happen a lot. Um, so this is a great, great, great card to pull. The thing to notice when ancestral healing comes up is that you cannot heal another person, but your own healing can cause another person to choose to heal. Your energy is freed up. You're being guided now to look at your life and decide how you want it to be. What ways of being or patterns are you ready to free from? What part of your future do you want to rewrite? Now is the time to shake them off and dream a new future into being. Work your light action. What old ways of being from your family line are you ready to let go? Seek assistance from your support team to begin freeing yourself from it now. And honestly, it could even be something as simple as food. You know, we've always had these dishes at whatever food, whatever family thing, right? For example, for me, I have found out I have a sensitivity to corn, cow's dairy, peanuts, tomatoes, sulfites, colors, um, <laughs> there's a few other, oh, pollen, grass pollen. So that's been fun. It's been really fun. That honestly didn't show up until my thirties. Um, so there's a lot of foods that I can't eat. I am way more comfortable being completely honest. I am way more comfortable being within my space and not home because I know what I can eat. I know what we have within our house is good for me and I don't have to worry because here's the thing. Just a minute. Okay. So here's the thing and it relates to the card. Be real. Be real to yourself. Okay. There's foods, as I was saying, that I know I cannot have. I know that. I now know what happens in my body to my body, actually how my body reacts. I'm not, I don't really know what's happening in my body when I have it, but, um, I can either get super itchy, um, really, really irritable to the point where I just, I feel like I need to crawl out of my skin, like that type of feeling. Um, I just looked over at my affirmations and it says, I'm safe and I love my life. I'm getting emotional because it's, it's trying at times, right? I know what I can have. I'm very comfortable with what I can have within my own space but it feels limiting and it's not understood by a lot of people. Um, to just say, you know, just have it and you'll be fine. Or if we get invited to go somewhere or to go to a restaurant, um, it's not easy. And it's also not easy at times to stand up for yourself and you know it's right but you don't want to cause a disturbance or be an inconvenience for anyone else um it's challenging so these cards are 100 percent 100 percent in alignment today so be real i've had this before full moon in aquarius
And I guess the other thing I'd say with, you know, being real is like be real for yourself and be aligned in yourself and your body and your health. <laughs> always, always put yourself and your health first before anyone else or anyone else's opinions. 100%. You know your body best. Um, yeah. confidence in living your life the way you know it needs to be lived and the way you feel 100% your best. It may feel lonely at times. You may not be able to go out and do what you used to do. Even to have a glass of wine. There's sulfates in every fucking wine out there. <laughs> Everything. Which is fine. It's totally fine. I shift. I tried having a glass last night and yeah, it's just, it's not, some things aren't worth it when you know how good it is to feel good. And if anyone doesn't understand, just remember you're being real for yourself. Sometimes we pursue someone or something for all the wrong reason. Our ego gets involved and before we know it, we're driving ourselves crazy by chasing something that may not even be right for us. This card reminds us that sometimes you need to back off a little, worry less and trust more. Life is about fun and laughter, but you'll take the fun out of it if you spend too long in your head rather than in your heart. You might win, but at night, but it might not be a great victory. So release. Frankincense is a great oil because it's the oil of truth. So this is a great oil to be real. Frankincense. Okay, the other one, embrace the flow of life, which is the full moon in Gemini, only four. Such good reminders. Have you been fast talking lately or is someone trying to fast talk you? Your best bet could simply be to keep quiet for a while. You or someone else in this situation needs some space. Taking a moment out of the constant carry-on will allow you, you to see what's going on. There's a tug of war between worrying about all the details of how to solve your issue and taking a moment to get some more perspective. Let life flow. Gratitude will help. So even if you're feeling not in the flow or you're feeling stuck, um, Gratitude for what you do have and where you are helps so much. And then leave the past behind. I'm going to leave it at that. Just what do you need to clear? What do you need to release? Leave the past and love your life and love you 100%. Much love today. <laughs>